Like the camera was off when I thought it was on and on when I thought it was off. Welcome to the new normal where Mary never remembers to do her own intro. Like I was going to do someone else's. <laughs> Take a look at this. This is what I decided to film instead. I don't know why I do this, okay? I have a cup of ice that goes everywhere with me because I love to eat ice. <laughs> and it's edible ice. I have my bio coffee. I have an ice drink. <laughs> and a glass of ice water. But everywhere I go, there's like five things to drink all around me. You know how you will do one thing that leads to several other things? <laughs> and before you know it, three or four hours have gone by and your day's gone. Let's see, how did this whole thing start? I went to bed to watch a movie and I thought, I'm going to look for a movie on stars. Now, I don't know how this happened, but somehow in the suggested videos, I don't even remember what I was looking for, but in the suggested videos was the movie Legal Eagle with Robert Redford, um, Daryl Hannah, and is that her name? Daryl Hannah? The Splash Girl, Daryl Hannah, Deborah Winger. I hadn't seen it in a long time, so I wanted to watch it. I'm watching Legal Eagles, and I'm reminded while I'm watching it of how much I love Deborah Winger. <laughs> First movie I remember her in was Urban Cowboy. Love that movie. Okay, tell me below, what is your favorite line in Urban Cowboy? First one that pops in my head, you real cowboy? Well, that depends on what you think a real cowboy is. I say that line all the time, probably because I have men in my life who wear cowboy hats. Well, my daddy's one of those. My brother, my daddy, my son. I'm still working on this. <laughs> you know, I don't know. It's just, it's good stuff. I'm going to put it on, I'm trying to use things up as I've told you before. But anyway, so I start watching Legal Eagles, and I like doing that. I like watching films that I haven't seen in a really long time because as you're watching it, you see other actors that you're like, oh, look, you know, so-and-so's in this. Like, for instance, I can't remember the lady's name. I'm going to have to look it up. Who um, plays in uh, Diane Lockhart in The Good Wife. I'm, I'm working my way through The Good Wife again. <laughs> I love The Good Wife, and so I'm working my way through it again, and I love Diane Lockhart's character. Now, that actress, I love her. I think her name's Christine, Christina, or something, maybe. Uh, I loved her in Mamma Mia. I've loved her. I mean, there's so many things I've loved to watch that lady in, and <laughs> she is in Legal Eagles. Not a big role, but she's in there, and I'm like, oh, that's her, and look how young she is, right? So that's why I, I like watching movies from the 80s or the 70s. So I watched Legal Eagles, and while I'm watching Legal Eagles, I'm looking for other Deborah Winger movies on the internet. What on earth? You know, in a way I want to go back, back in time, before all of this existed, back to what I think was a better time. And on, on the other side of that, what would I do if I couldn't consult with the internet all day long to answer questions? By the way, that's my wet and wild creme brulee. I'm plowing through it like I can still buy this stuff, right? They only have brulee now. This is my very last one. I used to have a lot of these in backup and this is my very last one. And you can't buy creme brulee, to my knowledge, anymore. Anyway, so I'm going through all the Deborah Winger movies. Some I've never seen, some I just love, and not sure if I've seen a Deborah Winger film I didn't really like, but I love Urban Cowboy. And who's ever in this lifetime going to forget Deborah Winger on that mechanical bull? You know the scene I'm talking about. So got this new palette here. I'm not liking it as much as I thought I was gonna. I like these two shades right here, but I don't think the green pops enough for you to know that it's green. Blitzy Fritzy Essential Eye Brush Set. We're gonna use them different today than I normally do. You know, I normally start out with the E25 and I use it in my crease, but today, today we're gonna switch it up a little bit. Today we're gonna start with the E35 in the crease. Into the shade right here with my E35. And let's go for it. Now also for all of this to make sense, 
I have to tell you about something that happened earlier in the week. So hopefully I can come back around. I have been stuck on my Donna Summer playlist. It's been helping me to dance around the house. And um, since I've lost weight and everything, I can move a little better. I'm just, I feel better, you know, than I did before. So I'm in the kitchen doing my thing, dancing around, preparing my lunch, swing around with my leg like I'm 20. What? Kick the island, break my toe, do a different kind of dance. <laughs> Go in and I'm like, ah, oh, now you would think that after that, I would stop trying to dance, right? Now I'm just wearing my tennis shoes. Yeah, I'm actually wearing shoes now so that I don't bang my, well, I need to pay attention to what I'm doing here so that I don't bang my feet anymore. <laughs> but anyway, I'm still listening to Madonna Summer because I'm stuck on it, right? Listening to Donna in the car, listening to Donna while my husband's trying to talk to me. <laughs> So that's what you need to know going forward in this story, that I have Donna Summer on the brain. <laughs> I am watching Legal Eagles surfing the web for Deborah Winger movies that I've never seen before, you know, just wondering. This causes me to run across movies and I see a picture. I am like, that doesn't look like Deborah Winger. That looks like Donna Summer. Donna Summer? Oh, gotta go. <laughs> so I click on it and it's a movie called Thank God It's Friday. E55 into the shade right chair. All right, now so I click on it and yeah, that is Donna Summer. <laughs> okay, and it's a movie from 1978. And of course, back in 1978, if you know you missed it at the theater, you probably were never gonna see it. I don't even know if this movie came to our town or not, but. This is really kind of a subtle shade, isn't it? Anyway, I click on it and I'm like, I really, really want to see this movie, but I don't want to pay to see this movie and nobody has this movie except this thing called Tubi, which I didn't know about. And if you don't, it's an app. You can watch free movies on it. And it's going to let me watch this, thank God it's Friday movie. E25 into what? I don't know. Where should we go? Okay, maybe we're going to go in here. Want to? And we're gonna use the E25 to pat the outer corner here. I'm gonna relax my eyes so that I can hit that hood. All right, then I'm gonna raise my eyelid so I can get into the crease. <laughs> so I start watching the film. Basically, it's about a night at the discotheque and everything that happens there and all of the players i'm just hitting the underneath of the orbit bone now and all of the people and how their lives all intertwine together and stuff and you know it was an entertaining movie but like most movies from that time frame i'm watching it for nostalgic purposes so that i can remember a time when what's happening in the world wasn't happening in the world it was in many ways, a better time, I think. It was a happier time for me, for sure. Can I please find one mirror and stick with it? No, <laughs> I cannot, apparently. I can't find one drink and stick with it. I can't find one thought and stick with it. So why do you expect me to find one mirror and stick with it? Who said you expected anything from me? That's probably a good thing, you know? The bar's not too high that way. Donna Summer's in the movie. Back to the E35, she plays a girl who's just trying to get her start, right? She just wants to sing a song and all that's going on there. I mean, it's kind of an entertaining film, but you should watch it if you can. Just go to Tubi if you have not seen it and watch it because it's lighthearted humor and it will give you a, a glimpse back at the past and help you remember things. And not only is Donna trying to get her start, but she's actually going to be able to get that start because who can't get there on time? The Commodores. Yeah. Okay, raise your hand if you love the Commodores. The Commodores are supposed to be performing at the discotheque and it's, you know, they're having a time getting where they're supposed to be and Donna Summer's going to try and get her shot and does. Uh, but anyway, I don't want to give all of that away. We're just going to continue on with the E25. Uh, but now I'm going to take it into the tip of it into this darker color right here. One thing I didn't like about this movie, watching it, was I'm just going to feel for the orbit right there. 
One thing I didn't like about it was the strobes. And do you remember, I mean, I remember that I used to be able to dance and be the strobes be going off and stuff, and I was fine. But as I've gotten older, I can't do that. I can't do being around strobes. I can't like go to concert where it's like so loud, my heart's going ba 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 in the beat with the drums and the music. I can't do that anymore, but there was all these strobes going on, so I kept having to close my eyes on those parts because I couldn't take that <laughs> at all. Um, but, you know, I mean, there's not a lot, a lot of it, but enough of it that I'm telling you about it. I'm a little high with this brown, dark brown. I'm going to use this clean E35 to blend that out some. But anyway, I mean, I, I really enjoyed getting to see it, especially the slang and the fashion and, and all of that. Like, when was the last time you guys saw a payphone, a payphone booth? Right. I saw one. We went and looked at some property not that long ago during part of our we're stuck in the house and we need to get out phase. We went and just kind of, I think we went to Mooresville or Martinsville. No, it was Martinsville. And we were looking at some property there. And in this little town was a phone booth, which I took a picture of and I've deleted it since because it was like, I was going to put that on Instagram and say what? Look, a payphone. <laughs> I mean, but when was the last time you saw a phone booth? I bet this is a foreign concept to some kids today that you did that. And if they remember, I'm sure they thought it would cost a quarter to make a phone call. But I remember, and I'm sure you do too, when it was not a quarter, but it was a dime. I'm going to take my E55 and go in here. You will get to see all kinds of things that I'm just put, tapping that right in the middle right there. I think that bumps that up to a more acceptable level for me. <laughs> I need to see some shine on my leads for all this money. <laughs> if you watch the movie, you'll also be nostalgic about different things like, remember tube socks? What about tube shirts? Remember tube shirts? Oh my gosh, I have a bad memory of tube shirts. You know, today I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Futurist. This is the shade that I have it in. Oh, this is shiny. I doubt you're going to be able to see that. It's porcelain, I think. I had a tube top, and I remember my brother, he played uh, baseball at the Little League Diamond. All of the friends and the boys I had crushes on, and they all played there too. And I was wearing this at the Ball Diamond. Now, my mom, she was, I don't know what she was, the treasurer or the secretary or something of, of the league. And, you know, all the ladies, all the moms and stuff, they pulled shifts in the concession stand, which was a popular place to hang out at the ballpark. She's in there, and because of her rank, okay, I got to just open the door and go in the concession stand if I wanted to, and I wouldn't get in trouble for it. And in the concession stand, they had hot dogs and hamburgers and all kinds of candy and popcorn and, you know. But the point is that I was in the concession stand with my mom. Uh, occasionally, I would actually help her work the window in there between ball games when it would get real busy. I was coming out of there and a group of these boys, one of which I had a crush on, they were around the corner from that door where I come out and they were talking about my top, about my tube top, okay? And taking like money bets on who was going to be able to pull it off. And if you know what a tube top is, you know that all you got to do is come up and just go like that and it, it comes down. And I was flat as a board, okay? What were they, they used to call me? Pirate's dream. Sunken chest. Okay? I was flat as a board back then, so it's not like they were going to see anything. But yeah, I heard them and I'm like, oh my gosh. I was also a little narc. Narc. There's another word. Uh, in a minute, we're going to talk about words that I wrote down on a list of things I remember that we used to say. And then you guys can tell me any I missed. I come out and I hear them discussing this. And so I'm walking around the rest of the day like this. Because <laughs> I know. And you know they knew <laughs> that I knew. In the movie, I saw women with their tube tops dancing. And they actually have something up there, right? Would you do that? Did you do that? I wouldn't have done that because it would have come down. Any woman who has anything upstairs knows that if you dance around in a tube top, it's going to come off. 
<laughs> that's why some of them had that little string. Like that's going to be enough if you were really well endowed. I don't really know that I need this today. I think that that Obagi's doing a good enough job that I can just get by with foundation. But we'll put some on anyway because we have it. <laughs> I also saw things on there like, I don't know, do, st do women still wear pantyhose? I don't know, but it used to be a big deal. Sometimes I wore pantyhose with shorts to make my legs look more tan. I would wear um, pantyhose with shorts. And I thought about pantyhose because in one part of this movie, Donna Summer drops some stuff on the ground and they, they zoom down to her foot. And you can tell by looking at her foot that she has on pantyhose. I'm like, I can remember that. I used to wear legs. And remember it came in an egg? Legs control top pantyhose. I could not be without those. It was a necessity at the store. You had to have your pantyhose. Do women still wear pantyhose? I don't know. I saw women wearing gunny sacks. Do you remember gunny sack? Dresses, gunny sack. Um, skirts with your gunny sack you would wear boots not go-go boots i remember go-go boots too i can remember having a pair of white go-go boots that i thought i was just it that was like i was 15. oh let's just talk about the shoes okay let's talk about shoes for a second well, i had go-go boots i also had brown wedge boots that i wore with long kind of gunny sack type skirts you know, they would come down to your shin and then you have these boots on underneath. What about the platform shoes? I died. When I saw one of these characters in there, she has on these platform shoes and she can't walk. They're like high school kids that are trying to sneak into this discotheque. Or we'll just call it disco. But a lot of people did call it discotheque. So she has on these platform shoes that she can hardly walk in. Now they're going there because they want to win the dance contest <laughs> at the disco so they can win tickets to see kiss she has on these platform shoes and i'm trying to tell my son who could care less about my platform shoes that i wanted so bad begged my parents for and then they finally get them for me and i never wear them <laughs> because i couldn't walk in them i mean if you went sideways on those you're gonna break your ankle my mom used to say that you're gonna break your ankle and i remember shy guy's shoes too his favorite pair outside of sneakers remember the blue tennis shoes i don't know who it was but everybody had to have a pair of those blue tennis shoes <laughs> Everybody else had them, and you want to be one of the cool kids too, so you got to have the shoes too, right? I'm trying to explain to my mom why it's necessary for me to have these suspenders. I must have that leather coat. I must have those suspenders. I must have Saddle Oxford shoes because all the cheerleaders wore them, and I would be popular if only I had Saddle Oxford shoes. <laughs> what about Mary Jane shoes? <laughs> I loved Shy Guy's boots. He had these tan suede boots with red shoestrings. Those were the ultimate. You had to have those and he had those and I loved the way he walked and it, it reminded me the way he walked of the keep on trucking guy. Remember that guy <laughs> on all the t-shirts with the really long leg? It says keep on trucking. Keep on trucking baby. <laughs> Shy guy had his boots and his Levi's and they were lower cut back then and they were bell legged. He would walk around like he was hot stuff in his flannel shirt, his blue jeans, and he was, and his hair was long. And when he walked, his hair, I can still see this. I can still see Shy Guy walking when we were in high school, in my mind. I can still see that. I can still see his hair blowing in the wind when he walked. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can remember these things as vividly as I can, right? Let's even out where I banged my head just a second ago. <laughs> we'll put a little blush up there and then the whole forehead will look a little red. I had been in a few discotheques or discos at the time. Um, shy guy more than me. <laughs> Believe it or not, he would dance in front of people who weren't me. He wouldn't dance in front of me. Ooh, I can remember him at the roller rink, which by the way, the, the roller rink that we had that I spent so much time in is gone now. It's been gone for some time. They turned it into a church, but the building and everything was still there so I could drive by it and remember it's gone now. 
they tore all of that down. My hometown, I don't think, has anything left of when I was a kid. It's all just in my memories now. Going back into this and get my nose a little. This is one of those new brushes from Sigma, the Soft Blend. This one's number 10. I like these. They're all shaped this way. They're all shaped this tapered shape that I love so much. You know, the real floppy and the handles feel like artist brushes. Do you guys remember when the um, suspenders were a big deal? I wanted a rainbow pair of suspenders. Did Mork have rainbow suspenders on Mork and Mindy? Is that how the suspender thing got to be a thing? I, I don't remember. I just remember that I wanted a pair of rainbow suspenders. <laughs> really bad. I didn't ever get them, uh, probably because my mom figured out by then that I would want these trends, but then I wouldn't actually have the courage, because I wasn't a cool kid, you know, I wouldn't actually have the courage to wear these things in case somebody thought I was trying to be cool. <laughs> That's probably why I didn't get the suspenders. I did wear the saddle locks for shoes, though. I did wear those. And I used to have this habit of walking with my big toe in the air. So uh, for a long time, I wore out all the tops of my shoes on my right foot where my big toe was because I, I would walk with my big toe up and wear the top of my shoes out. There's a fun fritzy fact for you no one cares about. I'm still working through other brow pencils trying to make them go away. But you know I want to grab the elf. I just want this to hurry and be over. I didn't end up getting those suspenders. What happened was I somehow ended up with a pair of maroon ones that belonged to my great grandpa. I think what it was is he passed away and we were down there and something was said about me wanting suspenders or something. I don't know. I ended up with a pair of official old guy suspenders. Like, not fashion statement suspenders, but actual suspenders. And, of course, I didn't want to wear them because that's old guy stuff. <laughs> they weren't the right suspenders, so I didn't want to wear them. My grandma would buy me things. God love her. She would buy me things on sale that I would never wear. Never. Please don't make me wear that. Where on earth do you get such ugly clothes? <laughs> She bought me this pair of pants as a gift, <laughs> and they were a tan, stretchy, I don't even know what they were made of, it was so long ago, but they were stretchy pants. They had a little bit of a bell, so at least they were in in that way, but I don't understand the design of these pants. They had like lattice designs on them that were brown and orange, and then mixed amongst the where they these this pattern would do this all the way up the leg and where it would come together in that little triangle there would be an orange scotty dog why why even my mom thought those were ugly she would not make me wear those pants <laughs> my mom on the other hand would buy me like one time she bought me these pants i loved them so much and i thought nobody is going to have a pair of these pants they were suede i don't know if i've ever told that story or not because my girlfriend we both had these same pants they were blue suede bell bottoms and they had triangle studs that were on the sides of the bell bottom and i mean they were cool and uh, my friend we found out we got these same pants together. So let's wear them to school together. So we get on the school bus and we're going to school and the bus is extra jumpy this day. And her breakfast didn't agree with her and I think she was sick. And she just turned. Now mind you, she's on the aisle. She could have turned this way and puked in the aisle, but no, she turned and vomited on my pants. So great. Now she gets to go to school in her cool pants and I have vomit on me. Let's get the palette back out now and I'm going to take the E46 into this green. We're going to use that as underneath the eyes. The reason that I don't care for this is because I don't think that you can look at this and actually tell in all lights that it's green. It's just that shade of green that 
can be confused with brown. <laughs> I really want you to know that it's green and I can't tell that. So that means I have one shade in here that I think makes this palette unique. That's the lilac colored one and it has little sparkles in it. It's not just a shimmer. So this palette really isn't floating my boat as much as I wanted it to. I'm going to use the Sigma Infinity Point Lipstick. Uh, this is the one that was broke when it arrived and I liked the formula and everything of the lipstick so well that uh, I went and bought this one. This one's called Temptation. I'm going to top it with my Wang Goss Antique Rose. It looks really pretty. All right, I'm going to do my mascara, my hair, and then I'll be back to talk to you about these slang words or phrases that I remembered and we can bounce some off each other, what too? <laughs> That'll be fun. Start, it started in this movie with Wolfman Jack. You remember Wolfman Jack? So you can hear Wolfman Jack and he says, you turkey, <laughs> which I had to laugh at because that reminded me of when the thing to say was jive turkey. Jive, you jive turkey. All right, let's talk about all of the ones that I wrote down that I can remember. And if you have additional ones, tell me yours below. So I have to wear these not real readers because I have to tip this on the end of my nose and I cannot do that with my bifocals very well. So we're going to use these for the time being. All right, here we go. What about keep on trucking? <laughs> keep on keeping on. Peace out. Peace out, man. Man saying man all the time. Now, some of these things I know we still say today, like uh, bummer, right? Bummer is a, something that we used to say, cool. Something we used to say when I was a kid, when you were a kid too, most likely, and uh, it's still said and used today. Okay, this is what I call CB talk. We had a base station in our house and my dad talked on the CB when he was coming home and we would get on there. So there was some CB talk in our house, like uh, double nickels meant 55. Uh, what's your 20 means where are you your location uh, big 10 4 that's a big 10 4 good buddy that means yeah I agree with you that's really right right on <laughs> can you dig it what's the skinny <laughs> I'm gonna give you the low down rip off threads it's for clothes bummer cool funky chillaxin I'm down with that far out out of sight. That's out of sight, man. Out of sight. Dork. Putz. Dream on. Dream on, big boy. <laughs> Catch you on the flip side means later or just later. Foxy. Trippin. What a downer. You can dig it. Those are some of the ones I got. But do you remember up your nose with a rubber hose? Where does that come from? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> How are ya? <laughs> Welcome back, Cotter and Horshack. <laughs> I'm Vinnie Barbarino in Washington and Epstein. Remember? Welcome back, Cotter. All right, guys, I got to go edit this now and figure out if I have to throw it away. Because if I'm recording me doing stupid stuff like dancing around listening to Donna Summer, and that's what I was dancing around to. I haven't decided yet if you get to see that or not. But <laughs> If I'm doing that, that means what I was really supposed to be doing isn't in this. And I don't know if I can piece it together or not. I hope you guys know that you are the best part of the Fritzy family. And part of that is because you put up with me. <laughs> and if you're not having a blessed day, then just go out and be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you, see ya. Bye. And I'm out. Anyway, right, anyway. Right, anyway, so, uh, so, right, anyway, 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 how much I love that, oh, sorry about that, this is like, I don't know, guys, let's just roll with it, roll with it, baby, don't, don't, you gotta roll with it, baby, I'm not gonna tell you a story about that song. I'm skimming, skimming through the carousel. I'm looking for my lip primer. And we just keep going around and around in circles. <laughs> I gotta do it. Here we go, round in circles. Da -da, da -da, da -da. I wonder how many times I sing that while I'm getting ready. Cause 
It's going around in circles, looking for stuff constantly. Found my lip primer, finally. Oh, man, that was a big one. I feel better now. I forgot what I was doing again. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what we're using. I don't know why I'm here in this chair instead of eating popcorn and watching more movies. All right, we're going to come into this shade right here with... Really? Hey, beep, beep. Bad girls. Talking about the sad girls. <laughs> Talking about the can't sing. Talking about bad girls. Oh, yeah. Friday night when the strip is hot. Hot. <laughs> I'm <trying. laughs> Oh, right? I'm like, <laughs> you can't see me doing a John Travolta dance, can you? <laughs> Let's turn a John Travolta into a Michael Jackson. <laughs> Wait. Doubles and... Oh, oh. I'm gonna get to see double double boobies. I'm gonna get to see double bubba. Double bubba. <laughs> oh lord. You know, Deborah, if you're watching, <laughs> you didn't know we were friends, did you? <laughs> she's a oh she's a brick. House. <laughs> she's my to my tag. Just letting it all hang out. Oh, she's a brick. House. That was almost a brick house. That was 36, 26, 36. I didn't think that was too bad, but no, apparently, according to the Commodores, you have to be a 36, 24, 36, and I didn't have the money to have ribs taken out. <laughs> yeah, ow, God. Uh, ow, that kind of hurt a little bit. Ugh. 